Imagine if that bridge deteriorated to the point where it fell I and mean, there was no bridge. Once there's enough corrosion, the steel fails and eventually they would fall down. The way we look at these bridges is they have to last forever. I don't think there's anybody that wakes up in the morning and says, I want to be a bridge painter. <laughs> We like to say everyone who works on a bridge has to be a little bit crazy. <laughs> There's nothing cosmetic about it. This is about protecting the structure. This is all about corrosion control. There's nothing I like more than going past a bridge and being able to show my kids I was part of painting that bridge. And one out of 100 guys can do it. And if you're not cutting yourself or bruising yourself every day, then yeah, you're not doing something right. Oh, it's nothing there. It's nothing. Because it came from so high, it ended up falling on my hand, and everything started to swell up. Nobody, nobody's always happy at work, right? I, I was born into it, I guess. Everyone in my family is a bridge painter, bridge painting companies. It's hard for the wife, it's hard for the kids, but got to pay the bills. The big thing right now, the Powerball is $180 million, so we're all putting in money. That's my only hope, to get out of this place. Got to win the lottery. The old guys will tell you that in order to make it in that industry, you have to be married to the bridge. I love it. That's my world up there. Oh, I feel free. I work. I work better up there. I always feel better on the high than on the ground. If you fall and lights are out, you die. So, and I have friends already that have died doing the, this business. I walked through the blood, climbed to the top. You can see the, like, where I fell, the paint, like, you still holding on the gun, you can see the line. There's no room for accidents. One accident, it can cause your life or maybe like somebody else's life. I'm afraid of more than the traffic on the roadway than the being up on top of that tower. That's not a joke. One of my biggest fears here is having somebody pass away or die on this bridge here. You get very close to these people that you're working with. You're with these guys more than with your family. It'd be really devastating to see something happen to them, one of these guys because they're like your family members. I'm from Jamaica. This started as a summer job. And the money was good, and I knew what I was doing. Cheers. Brazil. Mexico. I was born in Honduras. And everybody called me cowboy. You gotta have a nickname. You gotta have, you can't use what they get your mother gave you. You're not with your mother anymore. This is your new family, that's it. Bridge brother. Bridge brother. Yeah.